Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have an engineering economics problem and in particular we're going to be talking about uh, depreciation. So here's what the question says. An excavator has an initial value of $85,000 and a salvage value of $12,000 at the end of its 11 year service life. Uh, using the straight line method of depreciation, the book value at year 9 is most nearly what? round to the the nearest hundreds of dollars okay so we see our four options there available to us in dollar amounts uh, thousands of dollars um, and so basically the trick to this is think through it you know we, we there's a formula available to us in the uh, in the PE and the FE manuals but uh, basically what this says is uh, you're assuming an asset loss uh, at a constant rate so you're assuming the value of an asset is going down at a constant rate so it's a linear uh, linear graph I'll draw you a graph of that later basically what it looks like so basically how we're gonna start this problem is uh, is finding the formula that we need it's a lot simpler than needing a formula but if you're stuck on uh, on this one and you're trying to figure out you know you're a formula type of person uh, well you can find that in the PE manual on page 38 three eight and then in the FE manual you can find that on page 231 231 um, and whenever you look on those pages you're gonna find that your D sub J is equal to uh, C minus S sub N over N and so a couple of uh, knowns here oh and also a bonus here BV we're solving for the book value at year 9 BV is your initial cost. That's an I. Your initial cost. Um, your initial cost minus the sum of your depreciation. So D sub J. All right. So uh, a little, little terminology here. This D sub J is your depreciation in your J. Uh, your C is your cost, your S sub N is your expected salvage value, and your N, uh, your N is equal to the number of compounding periods or the expecting life of an asset. That stuff is in the PE manual on pages uh, 37 through 38, and it's also on the FE page 230. Make sure you're dealing with terms that you understand. Um, I think that would be very beneficial in this problem, certainly. Um, so if we're going to plug in our numbers here, D sub J is equal to uh, 85,000 because that's our initial cost, 85,000, uh, minus our S sub N. Well, our, uh, our salvage value is 12,000, so that's going to be 12,000, and that's going to happen at year 11. So after 11 years, this guy's going to go down. So uh, basically, we're just finding the slope. Uh, that's essentially what we're doing. We have our beginning point, we have our end point, and we have uh, how long it's going to take us to get there. So we just found a slope, whenever you solve for this, of 6636.3636. And that is per year. Okay? So uh, we just found our slope. So now we can, all we have to do is multiply that by the years. Um, and it, it goes down. So if I'm going to draw you a graph here, I'm just going to draw you a quick graph. Here is our years in the uh, in the x-axis, and then in the y, we have our value. So that's the value of our equipment. So we start off at eighty-five thousand, and then it depreciates at a linear value, and then it stops at twelve uh, k. So that's our salvage. That's when we're going to sell it. This is eighty-five k right here. And so what we just solved for is that, our slope. This is year 11, this is year 0. So hopefully that kind of makes sense there, that, that relationship there. Uh, we just found the slope of our line, essentially. So um, by doing that, we can multiply this slope times how many years we are and subtract by our initial value. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. And as a matter of fact, that's exactly what book value is. That's exactly what I just described to you. So if we're going to write that formula down, our book value is equal to our initial cost, which is 85,000, if you remember from the problem, 85,000, uh, minus our sum of our depreciation for every year. So 
Uh, we have our slope. We can multiply it by how many years we're wanting to find that book value at. It's at year nine. So um, you can add up every single year. You can calculate every single year, add them up. You're going to get the same thing that I'm about to get right. Uh, you end up with, let's see, let's plug in 6636.3636. 6, 36. I went four decimal points in this case. It's kind of a ridiculous amount whenever you're dealing with money, but we're going to be rounding in the, in the end result uh, to the nearest hundred. So it's kind of important to kind of keep your numbers straight, uh, certainly right here. So we have our slope of dollars per year. We need to multiply that by the number of years we're wanting to calculate. We're wanting to find nine years. Um, and so that's going to give you a book value of, hey, well, I've got you here. If you've already enrolled in one of the review courses on civilengineeringacademy.com, keep it up. You can do this. If you're not enrolled, I encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome practice exams and resources uh, to help you pass your FE and PE exam the first time. So when we solve for this book value, you end up with uh, 25272.73. So if we're going to go to the nearest hundreds, you're going to end up with 25300. And that guy is going to be A. So I hope this video helps, and we'll catch you next time.